now that I'm older and more confident in myself and realizing how precious time is, yeah, um, you can't really get back that time. And I think uh, when I think about my life, uh, one of the biggest fear I have is living in regret. Right. Regret of not doing something that I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, I think I would rather fail at trying something than not trying it at all. I want to leave this earth knowing that I did everything that I wanted to do and that I wasn't afraid to go after it and mm -hmm. that um, what I did actually mattered, you know, because it, it influenced or it impacted, even if it's one other person, in a way that changes their life, right, for the better. Yeah. Hi, welcome to the Magnetic Mismatch Show. This is Linda. And this is Will, and I feel 100 pounds lighter. You're welcome. <laughs> so I finally, finally, hate to admit it, I gave in. I gave in to letting her cut my damn hair. <laughs> Yay, me! <laughs> and just so that you know, because I know there's some Team Wills out there, um, I my head is still attached to my neck. So that's a good, that's <laughs> a win. That's a win. And, um, you know, my hair actually came out okay. The haircut came out okay, acceptable. <laughs> I I wouldn't say it's salon quality or anything. You were so proud of yourself. Was it so was ridiculous. Proud. You're like, hey, it's not bad. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not <laughs> bad. Mean, we'll call it a win. It needs a little <laughs> blending here and there. But, you know, from far, it's for, okay. For the most part. And then I like how you asked me, like, would I pay for this haircut? <laughs> and you said? I'm like, hell no, I would not. <laughs> <laughs> if you were, if I went to a barber and you cut my hair like this and uh, you expected me to pay, I'm like, nope, hell <laughs> to the no. <laughs> but, but to be fair for, you know, a uh, quarantine haircut, that's pretty damn good. Cause we saw some pretty hilarious, hilarious ones. ones. <laughs> I think they did it on purpose. Maybe, too. maybe. They carved like their name. Their initial the, yeah. or they had like a bunch of bald spots, but no, but I feel like there were some that were like like a bowl cut oh yeah like, that was those are i think hilarious yeah yeah i don't think they were doing that intentionally but it just came out pretty damn bad <laughs> i mean it's pretty rough right like to just see, be like all right you're in charge of cutting your spouse's hair all of a sudden yeah it's like it's like you know people go to school for like a year <laughs> yeah, for that you actually stuff. have to get licensed for this license they have to go through like i think like i don't know 15 or 1800 hours yeah I, I think that's like anything else, right? You know how like um, people look at something and they're like, oh, that looks easy. Yeah. And then they just assume that it's easy. Or even like basketball or like people when they play sports, it's like, what? Well, all you got to do is put the ball into the net. Like, and what's they so make hard it look that? so easy. Yeah, they make it look so easy. So they make you think like you can do it. Same thing with haircuts. You know, some people watch videos or they claim to watch other people cut hair and then they think they're an expert. <laughs> like, I could do that. <laughs> I'm definitely was nervous, you know. That's that's for damn sure. I was nervous too, but I didn't want to tell you. <laughs> you can't show me that you were nervous, right? No, no, I had to act as if I knew what I was oh, doing. Oh man, you know, I'm just glad I still have hair on my head, you know, for you to cut too, because uh, <laughs> uh, as as I'm getting a little older, um, you know, I've been very fortunate that I I guess I have good genes, you know, within the family. Yeah. And the, the my parents my dad still has a full head of hair you know as he's gotten older uh my grandpa on my mom's side though he was bald so maybe i don't know as i get older we'll see what happens we'll right see. yeah only time can tell only on time one. can tell but that kind of flows into our topic yeah what's our topic today what would you like old age to look like <laughs> a head a full head of hair <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think more than ever, um, you know, thinking about your old age is a, a very interesting time, especially now, um, just because of the advances in uh, technology yeah. and medical advancements, people are living a lot longer. Absolutely. 
yeah, like exponential technologies have increased people's life expectancy um, to what, like the late nineties now, or no, not that maybe not that far yet. I don't know. It's, it's probably there. like in the eighties now. Eighties, yeah, like yeah. the mid to late eighties, and there are a lot more people living into their hundreds now, right? They call them the centennial group. <laughs> yeah, and that's the technology that we have right now. That's crazy. Um, you know, there are a lot of medical advancements in the works. Yeah, I mean, they have like technology right now. Maybe it's not mainstream yet. There's but like nanotechnology. Nanotechnologies. There's cloning, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, replacing organs. There's robotics. You know, when they like have robotic arms and limbs. There's and robotics doing surgeries now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like performing eye surgery and yeah. things like that. And it's precision. Yeah. And then like, you know, technology for anti-aging has really advanced. Uh, I know you're really interested in that one. Yeah. Um, but, you know, skincare and all these things that's helping people not just live longer, but I think to yep. have a, a better quality of life as they age too. Absolutely. Which is super important, right? You don't want to be, you know, 100 years old and you're stuck in a bed, right? Yeah. And you can't do anything. That's what's the point, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's very interesting when you think about it because for us, that's that means it's going to be several decades, you know, uh, by the time we're old and, you know, gray and all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. So it's interesting to think about what would that be like um, by that point, but also what would we want it to be like? You know, what would life be like for us? Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see just because you and I, we grew up um, prior to the, the Internet. Yeah. Or right at the cusp. I wouldn't say prior. No, we're not not prior. But yeah, like right at the in cusp. The midst of it. And then we saw the internet boom. Yeah. Right. Things took off very fast. Yeah. And then uh, now, you know, technology has grown exponentially. Just in the last ten years. Yeah. So I can't imagine what things will look like seventy years from now. Seriously. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, the advancements mm -hmm. that will, you know, now the the one of the big fields is like what Internet of Things or something. Yeah, is that what Internet they call of it? Things, big data, yeah, like a bunch of stuff. It's like your refrigerator can order groceries for you. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's insanity. Or your It'd laundry like the, machine knows nope. when you're low on la uh, detergent and it'll place an order for you. Maybe it'll be like the Jetsons. Remember that cartoon where like the appliances can walk and talk and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they have personalities. Maybe the stove can start making meals for us. Hey, now. there you go. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it, it'll be really cool. I'm excited to see what the future looks like. And I, it's funny because I, I feel like there is a stigma, right, for, for getting older or aging or I don't know, in society. It's just weird. Like they look at it only as a bad thing as someone gets older. Yeah. I think they, they forget that there's like a, especially the physical aging. Sure, Everyone yeah. is so afraid of the, well, not everybody, but, you know, or at least society or the media makes us feel that way, that it's so bad to get a little wrinkle here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you know, you know, I um, emphasize a lot on self-care. And yes, I do use a lot of products and <laughs> creams and uh you know i get little lasers here and there to help uh, maintain my skin um but i think there's a difference between maintaining and feeling the pressure um, from society to completely change yourself if you don't want to mm -hmm. right but yes there is a lot of stigma but i feel like there's a lot of beauty that comes with aging mm -hmm. yeah lots of uh wisdom lots of life experiences you know i feel like personally uh, i don't know if you you probably agree with me but life has gotten better every single year that i've gotten older which is weird you know like, i agree because i feel like a lot of people they kind of live and dwell in the past right it's like their best days were back in high school or, you know, like back in middle school or whatever, right? Yeah. Or in college, you know? Yeah. Um, but I feel like as we've worked on ourselves and as we've gotten older, I feel like not only has life gotten better, but I've gotten smarter, wiser, hopefully. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just my perspective. But like, I feel like also more 
more clarity of what I want in life, but also who I am as a person, what I represent, you know, and what I want to leave behind after I'm gone, you know, like a like, legacy, like a legacy. What's the mark that I want to make? Uh, what's the impact that I want to make on this t- during this time that I'm on earth? Right. Yeah. And, and uh, it's kind of cool because I'm also much more assured, much more confident about myself. So when, when I was younger, I, there was so much pressure or so much like thinking about what would others think of me, you know, or what would other people think if I wanted to do a certain thing, right? Yeah. Um, that would always cross my mind and I would get consumed by that. And, and then it would sometimes prevent me from doing the thing that I actually wanted versus just, I don't care what other people think about it, right? Yeah. As long as it's ethical, right? And you're not hurting anybody and it's truly what you want in life, go for it. Right, because not everybody's gonna agree with you, period. Yeah, I think you're you're absolutely right. Um, when I was younger, fear of judgment, yeah, was huge. It prevented me from doing a lot a lot of things that I wanted to do mm-hmm. out of mm-hmm. you know um, feeling like how would that person what would that person say <laughs> and how would know, they think of me exactly. But now that I'm older and more confident in myself and realizing how precious time is yeah um you can't really get back that time and i think uh when i think about my life uh, one of the biggest fear i have is living in regret right regret of not doing something that i wanted to do yeah um i think i would rather fail at trying something than not trying it at all. Right. Of that thing that you wanted to try. Yeah. You know, if, you, if you're interested in it, if you really want it, just go for it. Right? Mm-hmm. Really, truly. Who cares if you fail? Mm-hmm. You will probably fail a little bit. But you can always get back up, right? And keep yeah. going. Yeah. You know? Um, I think also, like your perspective on life changes, right? You know, like the way we talk now versus how we talked maybe in our 20s. And what was important to us at that time was very different, (laughs) you know? Yeah. Because in my 20s, um, (laughs) before I made any money, (laughs) (laughs) right? um, you know, all I wanted was to be able to walk inside a luxury store good and buy myself a purse. Yeah. Right. And not feel judged by the salesperson that, you know. Or if try or not be followed around the store as if I'm a steal something. You wanted to prove that you belonged. Yeah, that I belong. Or that you deserve to be there. Or, yeah. I don't. Yeah, I think more like I deserve to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And you know I've worked hard through the years, and I can do that now. Yeah. But for some reason, it's just not important to me anymore. I think what you said earlier, right? Like your your perspective on time is it's i know for me like when i was younger the concept of time because when you're in your 18 20s right Mm -hmm. you feel like time is unlimited you don't think about like there's not as much urgency you know to really get on doing the things that you want to do in life but as you get older it's crazy because like i remember people always telling me like older people that have more life experience right they usually they, they always tell me like um hey man like as you get older time goes even faster or it feels that way and it's true yeah i think (laughs) yeah so you know in my 20s um uh, like just material goods were important right but i feel like as i hit my late 20s and early 30s now yeah um i feel like those things are less important to me because one thing that i realize is how short our time on this earth is. Mm -hmm. So what's more important to you now? Um, Not material goods. No, I think leaving a legacy, a little footprint on this earth is the most important thing to me. I think I want to, you know, look back and when I'm old, um, is to see that I changed the world or I made someone's life and their families lives and maybe the the generations after them better yeah you want to have an impact yeah and i think that's so important to me it's not i mean it's fun you know getting nice things here and there but that's not um 
the goal I have for myself anymore. That's not your why anymore. No. Right. It has completely changed. Yeah. And I think for me too, just kind of piggybacking off of that, uh, definitely impact and legacy, but also I think instead of just material things, because those come and go, right? And and we love, you know, nice things. Don't get us wrong, right? We, we do love like sharing nice. nice things too. And we love giving, right? We love but giving, yeah. I think for me too, uh, and you kind of taught me this uh, early on in our relationship, it was like more about building experiences together, you know, memories, right? Um, we're more willing now to spend on, uh, instead of just buying an item, which you'll get enjoyment out of it for a little bit, yeah. right? But then it's fleeting, right? Versus a trip somewhere where we get to share in an experience and see something that is ingrained in our mind now for forever. We get to keep that for the rest of our life, mm -hmm. at least until hopefully- That experience. Yeah, yeah, that experience, right? And you can share together and it always brings a smile, right? Back to you or, you know, it, it's really cool. There's nothing else like that, you know, where when you're investing your, your time and your money on experiences, that's invaluable. You know, and I think that's what I've learned as I've gotten older. And uh, for me, what I want my old age to look like is I want to look back on my life and be really proud of how I lived it and and proud that I did everything that I wanted to do yeah. and fear wasn't the reason that held me back, you know, because I, I would hate to be, like you said, to live a life of regret where I get to a point where it is much harder. It's never too late, I, mm -hmm. I think. But it is harder, right? If you're like 80 years old or 90 years old and you want to start traveling at that point or you want to start making, I don't know, starting a new hobby or something, you can do it, but it's much more challenging. Let's yeah. put it that way, yeah. right? Um, so being able to look back, be proud of the life that you lived and, and I think being remembered for something. You know, what will people say about you when you're gone? Mm -hmm. How will they remember you? Was it just... You know, like you were just there. You were just there, or, or was it like, wow, this person helped us in a way that, um, you know, I will always remember, mm -hmm. or it changed my life, or you know, they they said something or did something that, um, you know, kind of carried me through a dark time or whatever, right? There's so many little things that sometimes we don't think about yeah. that can have an impact on or somebody. Or giving somebody opportunities is huge. Opening a door for somebody, right? Yeah. Or connecting them to the to a person that can change their life. Mm -hmm. Or funding their education. Yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. It's, yeah, like I want to, you know, because if you just fund one person's education, right? It's not just their life that has changed. It's the generations to come. Yeah, I know one thing you're very passionate about and that we we are getting more involved in mm -hmm. um, is, is, you want to tell people a little bit about it? Yeah, it's um, providing uh, education to girls in third world countries. Yeah. Right? Um, I think it's such an important thing because, you know, a lot of girls in third world countries, they end up, just working in the farm or even at a really young age, like in a farm or uh, fetching water, just like things that don't require uh, much brain use and more mm -hmm. physical labor. Yeah, They're yeah. used as physical labor because the money is usually going towards the, the male mm -hmm. um, to go to school. So the household, yeah. In the household. So basically they don't even get an opportunity. Right to advance themselves even if they wanted to yeah uh, it's it's not it's not you know the parents fault or any anyone's fault but it's just it's just you know if you don't have the resource and you can only send you know one child one child then most likely if they had a male it would be because the, the societal structures you yeah know, revolved around men right? yeah. yeah yeah and so you know by giving that person um, an opportunity to go to school, I feel like it would change their family, the you know the person's life, and the future generations. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I think that's that's cool, and I think that that's where we've gotten a lot more clarity on uh, is what is more important with to us as time becomes less available. Yes, we're gonna be living longer, but then it's also the same in the sense that there's more urgency too, you know, because mm -hmm. as you get older, 
you kind of realize like life is really short, right? You're not this invincible person either when you're like 18 years old um, and you don't have all the time in the world. Yeah. You know, things start moving. People start moving faster, you know? Yeah. And it's not that you don't have the same energy. Um, you that know? too. Yeah. Yeah. Like in my 20s, you know, I could study till like 3 a.m., and work a full every time day. every day work a full-time job and you did yeah yeah and go to school and participate and you know and power through the night and do it for many days in a row i yeah. can't do that anymore yeah at some point your your body and your capabilities no matter how well you take care of yourself yeah. it's not going to work at the same capacity you know yeah. as you did when i you mean were i'm still very energetic we are we're very because we take care of ourselves yeah but I can't power through 2, 3 a.m. anymore. Yeah, that's just the reality, right? Yeah. That's just physics. That's just, you know, And science. I know as I go into my 40s, 50s, yeah. you know, it'll be less. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's why it's important to, you know, leverage, but also be smarter about how we do things too because we realize you can't mm -hmm. do everything on your yeah. own. Yeah. And I think, um, you know, when I look back at what I want my old age to be like, I don't want money to be the the thing that I'm always worried or spending my time worrying about obtaining and, you know, trying to st and stressing about anymore. Hopefully by that point, we're in a position where we're financially free. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, that's why we work hard now uh, so that in our old age, we don't have to work hard yeah. or not, not don't, don't have to work hard, but you know what I mean? Like you yeah. don't have to break your back for the money Yeah. to just you do the things you want. focus on other things. Yeah. Right? Because money's out of the way, right? You've yeah. gotten money out of the way. Yeah, I want to I want my old age to be um, you know, if I didn't to not worry about money and to spend that time continuing to build my legacy and yeah. just to improve the world. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the thing. It's it starts with really again having a vision for what you want your life to be about. You what you want um what is your dream, you know? Like how do you envision that? And you have to make sure you protect it along the way too. Yeah. Because uh, people will try to steal your dream, take away your dream, tear your dream down, tell you your dream sucks or that it's not valid. Or it's unachievable. Or it's unrealistic and unachievable. Yeah. You're living in a, a la-la land. Yeah. And, and I think yeah. that's, that's what's interesting too is that as you get older, you're more protective of your dream, right? Or of what you want because you have more of that um urgency and that confidence you know mm -hmm. that that comes with age and experience and wisdom because yeah. you've been through some stuff in life yeah. <laughs> you know you know and one thing i do realize um as i get older is that when people tear you down or and they're mean to you it's not because it's it's you it has nothing to usually do with it's you. nothing to do with you. nothing to do with you it's because you know, it's a reflection, right? It's a reflection of themselves. It's like when they look at you and they hear about your big dreams and your big goals. Um, it's intimidating. Know, it's very intimidating. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, it reflects like it's like maybe that's what they they wanted for themselves. But they didn't go for it. Yeah. So it forces them to look at their own life, right? Yeah. So um, I think it's okay. It's okay to dream big and to think of and to have big dreams and for yourself and chip away at it. And I think as you get older, you, you care less about what other people think, right? Absolutely. Um, you, you ha your, your um, tolerance for BS goes way down. And mm -hmm. you realize like, because if you're busy chasing after what you want and focus on your mission in life and, and your dream, you don't. You really don't have time to take on other people's bullcrap, right? No, because you get. You're so busy. Where do you fit that in? Yeah, <laughs> there is no bandwidth for. So it's for yeah that. <laughs> exactly. If if everybody just focused on what they want to accomplish, then we wouldn't have time really to deal with other things that don't matter. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, yeah. So it's usually petty stuff or stuff that, like, you know. Yeah, but that's why I feel like as you and I get older, our group of friends, it gets mm -hmm. smaller. Yeah. And it gets more intimate, because, you know, we basically cut out all the the people that are negative and toxic in our sure. life, and we're okay with that. Yeah. 
and、um, we're okay with saying no. Yeah, because you're more comfortable in your own skin too, you know,、mm-hmm. which is another thing that comes with age. So I, I do, I do see a lot of like beauty in, in、um, getting older, and you know, you see it right if you have the right attitude, if you take care of yourself. It's like I said, you know, I, I feel like life has gotten better every year, and I'm excited, you know,、yeah. as we get older,、um, and we get wiser and more experienced, right? And your perspective changes in a way that you never would have thought, you、mm-hmm. know. So it's just interesting to see how things evolve. So、yeah. it's like, what's what are we going to be like in our forties, you know? And what's our thinking going to be like in、yeah. our forties compared to now? Yeah, and you know, both you and I were always constant, constantly learning and、yeah. growing. And, yeah, and that's important. That's part of how you stay young too, right? Yeah,、and、mentally. mentally yeah.、Right. And I just want to know, in like ten, twenty, thirty, forty years, what kind of skills am I going to acquire? Yeah, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool,、mm-hmm. right? Just to see,、um, you know, yourself pick up new skills. Like even when I look back a year ago, you know, I've picked up so many new skills that I didn't didn't know a year yeah, ago. And the progress you make, the progress that I've made over over that short time period. So to imagine, you know, this lengthy time, or it will feel fast.、Mm-hmm. Um, but if I just make good use of my time. You know how far can I grow as a person? Can I grow as a person? How big of an impact can you have too? Right,、yeah. the more capabilities you acquire, right, the more you're going to be able to spread your impact.、Mm-hmm. You and、know? as technology grows exponentially,、mm-hmm. you know your your helps your chances、that. of impacting globally gets. Even bigger, right? Which is really awesome. Which is exciting. Yeah, and I think that's important. It's to continuously learn, to continuously grow, expand, and push yourself right outside of your comfort zone. And I think that's important too, not just for your own development, but also like to be mentally active and to stay mentally active. Because sometimes, as you get older, I mean, just like your body slows down, sometimes if you don't take care of it and you're not continuously, um. Monitoring it, it, your mental capacity goes down too, right?、Yeah. That's very common. Yeah. But I know some people, like some of my clients, like in their late eighties or early nineties, they are very sharp still, just as sharp, right? Which is cool to see. I'm like, okay, and it's because they constantly stay active. So I, when I look at my old age and I think of that, that's what I want to be. I want to be that. I want to still stay sharp. I want to still be able to.、Um, yeah. You know, just retain everything that I've learned until that point,、mm-hmm. as much as I can control. Right? Sometimes it's just you can't. You know,、yeah. there's certain things that happen. Yeah, but you gotta exercise your brain. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, it's like a muscle, right? Yeah. So,、mm-hmm. um, and then I think as far as like who we want to be surrounded by, it is you know family, friends, people of high quality, people of like minded, people that uplift you. You know,、mm-hmm. just like we want right now, I don't see that changing in the future. No, I want to be surrounded by the people that I want to be around, versus just tolerating people, you、yeah. know, because they're there or they we so happen to, you know, be in the same group or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I mean, when you're younger, there's always fear, FOMO, right? Fear <laughs> of missing out. Um, so、yeah. let's say you get invited somewhere, and even if you don't. Like the crowd that、yeah. much, you'll still go because、right. you don't want to miss out. Yeah, yeah. But as you get older, you realize, hey, my time is so precious. If I don't want to be somewhere, I don't have to be. You you get better at learning to say no. Yeah. Right to to certain things, and you have to because your to. time is not unlimited. You have to be very smart and strategic about where you invest your time and who you invest your time with.、Mm-hmm. You know, is it helping you towards? Um, you're achieving what you want to achieve, or、um, is it making an impact, right? Or, or is it doing the opposite and taking away from it? Is it distracting you? Is it pulling you off to a different path? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but again, damn, it's crazy. Like when just even talking about this, it's just like I realize the way I speak and the way I think is very different,、um, even from like you said a year ago. Mm-hmm. Which is cool. Like, I mean, that's what I would want. I would hope that I've changed in a year, and that I'm not the same exact person. Because if that's the case, and I look back, I'm like, oh, 
uh, nothing's really changed. To me, that means I stayed stagnant. Yeah, that means that you did not grow as a person. That I didn't do enough. Either that I didn't do enough, I didn't take enough chances, I didn't push myself or something, right? Um, That I just kind of settled. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, our core value is always the same. Yeah. Right? But then... Besides, but then everything else must change. Yeah, and then, and I don't want people that are listening to feel like, oh, you know, do I always have to? Is that because that might not be what's important to that person? Maybe for somebody, if they're okay with staying comfortable and that where they are, I feel like that's okay too. Absolutely, right? you have to. But you have to know is is that really what you if, want? If that's what you want, if if. You know, you're staying the same and that's not what you want or where you want it's to be. It's only because of laziness or whatever. Yeah. Then, you know, maybe it's time to take action. Right? Yeah. I think imperfect action is better than no action at all. Yeah. Um, so just take some action and yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll surprise yourself. Yeah. I think because I think when people, because there are people that maybe are very comfortable and maybe they are very happy where they're at right now and they just want to maintain, right? Yeah. I think that's okay too. Absolutely. If that's truly what they want though. But I think sometimes we have to be very honest with ourselves. Is that really what we want? Or are we just saying, well, this is comfortable. So I just want to keep it this way because I'm not willing to go through the pain or discomfort of change right yeah. and uncertainty and all those scary things it's very scary <laughs> changing but is hard uncertainty yeah. uncertainty is one of the scariest things it's, it's one exciting. of the things that hold most people back right it's exciting but very scary at the same time yeah 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 and i think um but like like i was saying too it's like as you get older your ability to deal with that becomes better in my opinion mm-hmm. um you control fear better. Yeah, I think you, you it, yeah. you'll you never get over it. No. That's just human nature, right? But if you exercise it enough, it's yeah. like a muscle. Yeah, and that's the beauty, right? Like as uh, when you think about age and how long you've been on this planet, it's an accumulation of tons of experiences and different interactions with people. And um, that's amazing, right? You're yeah. like this whole database of like information. Yeah. And no database is the same. No. You're not a computer. The computer can be built on the same software, <laughs> right? It's yeah. identical. But there's only one of you in the world. Yeah. It's like I so I think like when I when I get older, I definitely want to stay mentally sharp, physically healthy, right? Mm-hmm. Where I'm active and still able to enjoy and the world at that time, whatever that maybe look like, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe we'll have like prosthetic limbs and like robotic limbs and stuff <laughs> like that at that point. You know, who maybe, knows? Maybe who knows? They can transfer your consciousness or something. <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting to some sci-fi stuff. And um, I just want to look back and know that I lived fearlessly. Yeah. I was confident. I was fearless, and that I made an impact on the world. Yeah, and and this stuff like. It doesn't come overnight. It doesn't happen overnight, right? And I think sometimes it's easy to like want that. Like I want to live fearlessly. But when it actually you're confronted with having to do something scary that's going to be good for you, it's hard, right? Sometimes. Yeah. And you will fail along the way. Yeah, absolutely. There has been moments where I've had the opportunity. But then, you know, due to the fear of change, I delayed those opportunities. Mm -hmm. so it's not easy it really isn't easy no but i think that's why it's good to develop those muscles and those skills now Mm -hmm. um so that by the time you get to your old age those are already a part of you right that is who you are that's part of your identity yeah you know anything else for you like that you think of in old age that you want to share no i think or do you do you want the listeners to take away? I think I just still want to live a happy life as well, right? I still want to walk into a, a warm, loving house, um, and just be able to pass on my knowledge to mm-hmm. somebody else. Yeah, maybe be like a, an example, a role model. Yeah, 
Yeah, someone that like maybe is younger, they can look up to and be like, damn, I want to live a life like that. Mm -hmm. Right. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Just make a positive impact on the world. Absolutely. Even if it's not on a grand scale, Mm -hmm. but if I know that I I tried my best, um, you know, to spread that positivity or to help others, um, then I'm okay with that. Same. Yeah. I, I, I want to leave this earth knowing that I did everything that I wanted to do and that I wasn't afraid to go after it Mm -hmm. and that um, what I did actually mattered, you know, because it it influenced or it impacted, even if it's one other person in a way that changes their life, right, for the better. Yeah. So, wow, this that's that some deep stuff. It's, it's, this, t- <laughs> this topic was, um, you know, it's like it's like exciting <laughs> to look into the the future. Yeah. But it's kind of um, it makes you think. It makes you think, and then it's like it makes you realize that life is very short. Yeah. Right, and that you're always work. You should always work with some urgency. Right. So even if you're younger right now. Because uh, we're still very young. Yeah. I like to we, think that. I would yeah. like to think that. We we're talk talking like. We're really old, but no. <laughs> like, but it's it doesn't even matter. Like, even if you're, you know, 70 years old right now, I mean, if the exponential technologies can tell us anything, if there's another 30 years for you or whatever, um, and you haven't been going after what you want, why not start? Right. Mm-hmm. There's, there's, it's just about you have the power, right, to change at any point in time that once you choose to, that's the thing. Yeah. You know, so cool. I mean, this, uh, yeah, definitely was a, it's, uh, it was less lighthearted than I thought. I don't know. <laughs> it became more deep than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a fun topic. It'd be nice and lighthearted. Damn, you got me thinking now. Uh, yeah, but it, hopefully it, it, we motivated you guys or inspired you maybe to think a little bit more deeply about, you know, where you're at, but also um, how you should start approaching your life, you know, going forward. If, if it kicks you in the butt a little bit, lights a fire under you to realize, like, man, we don't have unlimited time on this earth Mm -hmm. but so it's important just go after what you want yeah 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 cool um so make sure to download our episodes on apple podcasts um you can also leave a review if you enjoyed this and uh five star rating Uh, make sure you also share our content with other people if you think they could enjoy this as well um our social is instagram right mainly right now at Magnetic Mismatch. Mm-hmm. And? And we release um, a new episode every Thursday. Yeah, so make sure you tune in. And we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you want to comment on some of our posts or tell us if you enjoyed this episode, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. Oh. Until then, bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>